Hi, this is Shimandi from Providence Life Design, and this video is I, initially I was gonna just like um, categorize it under the smidgen of feng shui videos, but I'm not going to. This video is for for women, for my mamas, okay, and this is about creating a respite in your home. Now, I had did some other videos, they're not here on IG, they're on YouTube, um, where I talk about, you know, how to get everybody else on board to make sure that your design idea, like, stays intact, okay? Um, because cleanliness is a huge, huge, huge part of any good design, cleanliness, order, being able to um, keep things in its place, right? So, um, I'll do another video specifically about that. But this video specifically is, um, I did a video about like keeping your sleeping space comfortable. Um, but one thing that I wanted to let women viewer know is try to create a resting spot in your bedroom that is not your bed. If you're someone that likes to, you know, sit down on your phone or um, you like to read or you like to like look over your magazines or um, you like to just add things to your scrapbook, you know, that, that place where you just, you know, you want to create a space where you could just feel really luxurious, right? Unfortunately, I don't have one of these spaces in my bedroom at this moment, um, but when I lived, you know, when I lived with, when I, um, before when I was married, I totally did. I had a space where it was like, even if my husband was home, it was like I had a little space where I can kind of just like take it easy, you know? If the boys were with him, then I could just like, you know, sit down for a few minutes and luxuriate, you know, before I went and took my shower and, and all of that, right? So I had a very comfortable uh, bedroom suite. So if you are fortunate, and you have a bedroom suite or you live in a rental property where you have a bedroom suite. I know a lot of the apartments in um, like the Midway Point, you know, like Texas and Maryland and uh, DC and Georgia and uh, North Carolina, South, those places, the apartments there, they have like really, you know, the, the apartments that were put together um, that the developers um, are putting together. Those apartments, a lot of them, the selling point is having a comfortable suite, master suite. I don't even like using that term, master suite. Like, what's that about? Like, head of household suite, I guess. <laughs> we gotta find a cute little name for that. Um, so that bedroom suite where you have a walk-in closet, you have a, a shower, a full bathroom ensuite, you have a vanity area where you can pull up um, a nice seat and do your makeup and, you know, whatever. You know, where you have space, square footage, you can comfortably put in a queen size, comfortably put in a king size bed. In bedrooms where you have ample space and you can, you have all of that space, right? I think it's totally pointless to have a huge bedroom and you don't have seating inside. Why not? Um, my children's, the children's bedrooms, I've always kept seating in there for the kids. Always something really like low, you know. Um, Ikea carries some great sofas where they have like slip covers. I think they're called Kiplins. And, um, you know, you can get something beautiful where you could just slip cover it for your master suite, your master bedrooms. And because sometimes you may want to have a little snack and drink a little wine or <laughs> you may have a little ice cream. No judgment, right? <laughs> so, um... You have to like keep these things in mind so that you could be able to take care of it and washability and all that. Sometimes the children are going in their rooms with their d dirty hands. They didn't wash their hands after they've had their yogurt or, um, you know, their sweets or their whatever, right? So, um, seating is super important, especially when you have small children. 
Um, I like to teach my children about leaving the bed for night rest. So my sofa in the living room is not for that, okay? Now if you are one of the fortunate people and you saw my video about like turning in an extra dining room into a, a theater room, lucky you, right? Yeah, a theater room, that's different. But in a space where pretty much all of the spaces in, in the home where pretty much all of the spaces is like either the family room, living room, bedrooms, like that's it, right? You want to, there needs to be order. I know all of us not raised the same, okay? But I truly, truly believe that. And if you are a woman that wants to be style conscious in your home, you, it's going to be hard to kind of like reel in these, you know, expectations later on. But as soon as you can, find a way to start like gearing everybody to get on the same page. All right, get on the same page. You want to like keep the integrity of your space. So if you have a bedroom that is large enough where you could comfortably have um, your king size or your queen size or even a full size bed, you know, maybe just a simple chair, like an upholstered chair is good enough. But if you have enough space where you can put like a bench, an upholstered bench at the end of your bed, where you can take off, you know, your slippers, you can take off your pantyhose at the end of the day, you know, you can kind of just like decompress, sit down, take off your jewelry, you know, get undressed, you just want to just like feel free, right? <laughs> we just, we just want to like let it all just like hang, hang, after we've gone through the politics of the day, you dodged all kind of like BS, right, and all the workplace politics. And the nonsense, people came home with all that dirty energy, they came home. Sometimes you need like a break. You need a space. Okay? This is why I'm sending some of you guys like little videos about crystals. Okay? If I see another woman talk about how rough her whole like milieu has gotten on her. And it's like, wait a minute, sis. You need to like add some beautiful things to your space. Right? So... This little retreat that we're creating in our sleeping space, aside from comfortable seating, maybe you want to get a nice throw. Because if you feel a little draft, then your arm may fall asleep here. And you got a nice darling husband, and he sees you fell asleep. At least he can, like, cover you up, you know? Get yourself a nice soft chenille, fringed, plush, knitted. You know, we like knit. I love knit. I live in a warm climate, and look at me. I'm in knit because <laughs> I don't want to be cold and then I'm annoyed and cold. <laughs> Some people are just like, they are, they've left their house to annoy everybody in the world, okay? <laughs> so, I love wearing it. I feel soft, you know? It's nice and, mmm. I feel like my own little teddy bear. Sometimes you got to hug yourself, you know? That should be, that should be a self-love lesson right there. You know, you just squeeze your arms. At least some of those endorphins, okay? While well, you have your beautiful crystal set up, I've already packed up mine, okay? So uh, if you don't know what crystals to get, you should start looking at my Touch of Feng Shui videos so you can kind of like see what kind of crystals you want for your space, okay? So, um, so after you have set up the seating area, so a bench, it could be, a, you know, a, just a, a back, tight, tight back chair, Okay, we call them tight backs where it's not super upholstered. You don't want anything super upholstered. Mm -mm. You want something that you feel comfortable. You can throw back in. You feel comfortable, but you can also sit up very proper, okay, in it. Um, so if it's like a chaise lounge, some chaises, they're getting kind of corny with a lot of the modern stuff. I don't know if I should do a video about it. I don't think I need to do a video about that. Because some of you guys are saving yourselves. I see them out in the trash heaps and stuff like that. We thought those chaise lounges were the was the business four, five, eight years ago. It's not. It's garbage. It's trash. It's not the stuff our parents were buying, right? It, it's like it's no good. It's a waste of money. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, um, get your candles. Set them up. Get your crystals, set them up, get a nice fresh plant, set that up, or bamboo shoes, set them up, you know? So you create your little relaxing nook, or your little relaxing space. Get yourself like great little speakers, and add the music, and you're done, voila. Shimrani from Providence Life Design.